record before I forget. Um, I think that just lit up for us, so that's good. So I've got Bob Lyons, Don Knorr, Susan West, Carl Stumpf, Dan Cody, and Carrie Scheffner with us right now. So I think the only person we're missing is Robert. Robert. Oh, Robert Burke is just Anyone now joining you? us. So let's give him a second to connect. And uh, and then yeah, sorry, are, Sean. Uh, I wasn't able. The meeting agenda wasn't opening for me, um, so oh, I wasn't able to get yeah. to the link. Same oh. here. I was locked out. I had to use a different method of accessing the agenda to get the even the right Zoom password. Hmm. I'm sorry so, to hear that. Shoot. Who, who I went we? to the city website. It was just fine there. I, I tried the city website. I was blocked out. I don't know if I have to shut down my whole computer and start over, but I... Hmm. I couldn't get it on my iPad and I couldn't get it on my work computer. Oh, I was having the same thing. I couldn't get it through the email and then I went to the city website and it wasn't working. So I'm not sure. Maybe the city's website was just down for a couple of seconds. I'm not sure what happened. Yeah. But. No. I did log on to the city website probably an hour and a half ago. Okay. Right so now is when I'm blocked. Well, in that part of it, that on base server seems like it just gives us sporadic trouble with no rhyme or reason to it. So I, I just got in now, so it looks like it's starting to work again. I, I had the same I had the same problem and I just went to last week's meeting. It wasn't the email link didn't work and it wasn't on the it wasn't on the, the Middleton website. So I just chose a prior meeting and the everything still works. So hmm. huh. I didn't have any problem at all with anything today. I got on through it right away. Well, some of you people are obviously more computer savvy than I am. Well, well, I, I downloaded it earlier in the week and, and had the agenda on my computer, but when I tried to log in today, it didn't work. Yeah. Yeah, it always seems to me it's just luck. It's not got anything to do with competence. <laughs> um. Well, should we call a meeting to order? 6.30 has come and gone. Uh, we have a quorum. All committee members are present. So we'll call this uh, meeting of the Public Works Committee uh, to order. First item of business is minutes of the October 26th meeting. Move this approval. Is, this is Robert. I would second that. Right, we have a motion and a second to approve the minutes of October 26th. Is there any discussion regarding the minutes? Hearing none, those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, nay. The ayes have it, and the minutes of October 26th are approved. Item right. two is Pleasant View Road Reconstruction Transportation Project Plat 15 106. Sean, I'm going to ask you to review this plat and explain every single diagram and every single table of numbers for us. Yeah, and, and I'll uh, explain the difference between the cross hatching too. <laughs> <laughs> and the magenta circles. What, yeah, I apologize. I was just reading that and I was saying to Don before the meeting, my uh, staff comments here about that are out of date. Uh, as I was putting this together on Thursday afternoon and also interviewing candidates for our street crew position, um, I got a substitute document that took care of the issue I was trying to take care of, namely that they were um, trying to acquire right of way to account for some stormwater ponds on the golf course on the west side of Pleasant View Road. And we said, well, couldn't we just make the right of way more linear as a normal road corridor and then just get permanent easements for the detention ponds? And probably 45 minutes later, they did that. But my old comment from the old drawings is still in here and I didn't get that changed. So you were probably all looking for magenta circles that don't exist, sadly. Uh, and I apologize for the confusion. But for the most part, this is uh, our only real uh, uh, agenda item tonight, just because the uh, uh, timing of the project, our right of way, um, consultant really can't make any headway until we get this plat um, signed off on and, and submitted. 
So until there is a plat with relocation orders, um, they're just kind of uh, stuck in, in a holding pattern for right now. So we put forward what we do have. Uh, that said, this is of course, um, uh, both in Middleton and in Madison. Oh, let me try to get that to a page if I can. So it starts off in Madison and works its way up uh, once we get into Middleton. So, you know, along here is the golf course. For the most part where they've got um, sort of what I'd call this sand texture stipple pattern in the fill. That's just temporary easement rights that we need to get to allow us to do some grading so that the new profile of the road will blend into surrounding lands. So that, that goes away at the end of the project and all we really will retain are, are sort of this longer, wider, straight corridor kind of thing. And this is one of those things that used to have a magenta circle where they took the right of way line all the way out here for a future pond. I can zoom in on that maybe. And, and now you'll see where it says PLE. So that's a permanent limited easement that we're gonna get for a pond to be built here, but it's not road right of way, if that makes sense. Um, Who has to grant that easement, Sean? Is that the golf course committee that has to grant that or the council grant it? Well, it's technically the council because they own the golf course, but it's in conjunction with the golf course advisory committee to the council. So um, they're granting an easement to themselves, the council? We, we are effectively doing that. Yeah. Okay. That shouldn't take too much debate, I wouldn't think. Um, I'm sorry? Oh, okay. Yeah, I think that'll be the easier part of all the negotiations, but uh, you know, there's a lot of, of uh, existing easement that's gonna be within right of way. So we'll need those, um, those utility companies that will become within right of way to give up their easement rights. And then we're also acquiring properties along the corridor. Um, I don't know if there were any specific questions on any particular pages about the difference between them. Um, for the most part, you'll see, you know, so there's a little number 10 in a circle here, and, and that'll correlate to all of these um, schedule of interest that we need. So number 10 is owned by the city of Middleton, and we'll need to acquire some land in fee for right of way some for temporary easement and some for permanent easement. Okay. If that makes sense. And it, it just carries throughout the project. Um, up to 14 anyway. And then sort of one of the last pages that I'll just skip to. This is at Pleasant View Road is off on the left side of this page. And this heads over to what we call South Pond, um, south of 14 and, and east of the old fish building that became Pro Build and several other things. But this also is a detention pond before things would drain into uh, South Pond, if that makes sense. So this is not mm -hmm. in the road, but it's still part of the road project. All right, did committee members have any questions about any of these diagrams? I wonder if, if, if um, Sean could just comment on a couple of the, a couple of the trickier parts of the project. What are those sensitive areas? Are there a couple of those that I could just be familiarized with? Uh, when you say sensitive areas, what do you mean? Well, just, just, you know, where it's a little more, you know, where are we having trouble getting access or where is there something in the way? I'm just wondering what. Oh, I would say for the most part, the um, trickiest design parts of this whole thing are kind of right in the corner where um, the co-ops, natural gas tanks and everything are, because mm -hmm. we're, we're fitting a roundabout in there, but, but with natural gas tanks, there's some uh, design challenge there. It turns out that um, the owner 
of this, the old fish site, pro build, builder supply, what first choice, whatever it's called these days. Yeah. Uh, the owner of that lot is uh, interested in redeveloping it. And so they don't know exactly what is going to maybe go there, but the way that that pond lays out and the railroad spur that cuts through that site and the limited access near Highway 14 is is something of a challenge. So we're in conversation with them about what that might mean. Mm -hmm. um, Helixon's here, Ted Helixon is one of the properties that we'll need to buy probably entirely because uh, our right of way goes through their house. Um, so even though this is just shown as temporary easement off to the west of the house, we're probably going to have to acquire the whole thing and then the temporary easement will be sort of by the way. And similarly, I would say um, Bakken's house that's just north of the hill um, by the quarry there. Uh, because of grading reasons, we only need a certain amount for right of way, but to the west of there, we'll probably have to buy that whole property because there's just no way to make that driveway uh, meet the new road edge, uh, especially when we're cutting that hill down by 15 feet or so. Um, and then there's on the east side, of course, a bunch of retaining wall uh, issues that we're going to need to deal with. And that big um, steel electric tower at the top of the hill when that hill comes down that tower is still going to be there uh, it'll just be up much much higher mm -hmm. we have that yeah okay so there's there's a fairly steep side across from the golf course where that trail goes down but maybe that grade is not maybe the steepness of that is not a problem immediately and I don't think that is too bad, but what we need to do is uh, ramp up because there's going to be an overpass pedestrian bridge right there. Mm -hmm. So even though the, the whole hill is coming down, we oh, the have bridge an elevated up. bridge above it. Mm -hmm. uh, so that'll be almost where the road currently is. Um, <clears throat> Sean, on the Bakken property and that other house, if the uh -huh. city buys that, is that going to be in the town of Middleton or the city of Middleton? You know, that's an open question. We haven't annexed or even really talked about annexing anything. Um, so the land on that side of the road is currently in the town. Right. Half, half of that road is in the town. So that's, that's an open discussion, I think, that needs to uh, reach some resolution. Is, is that going to be our right-of-way or town right-of-way? I don't know. Yeah. How quickly does that need to be decided? Uh, well, we've been talking about it in concept with the city attorney already. Um, you know, so we don't have anything sort of ironed out yet for the best way to approach that. Okay. Yeah, it's just my concern is I hope this doesn't get tangled up in the airport issues. Well, I would hope so, too. Uh, you know, I, I don't know that there's no chance at all it won't somehow get muddied. Um, obviously, they have nothing to do with each other. Some days that just doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. But for now, we're just looking at a road project. What are the right-of-way needs? What are okay. the land interest needs? Um, Any other committee members have questions regarding the plot maps? No, I would make a motion to, are we like recommending approval here for we're recommending uh, to the Common Council to take action to approve the plat and uh, its associated relocation orders. That would be my motion. I'll second, Don. We have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? Hearing none, those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Mm -hmm. Aye. Those opposed, nay. The ayes have it, and that will be our recommendation uh, to the council. When do you think the council will take this up? 
Sean, Jim. Uh, at their next meeting, and I think that's next Tuesday. Next Tuesday. Okay. All right. Okay. And, and I think Madison's on sort of a parallel track, and since this is one plat, it kind of needs to go together, but that'll get uh, Core, who's our real estate consultant, moving again. Does, does the town have to approve any of this since some of that land is within the town of Middleton and half the existing roadway in certain spots is within the town of Middleton? No, we're just the lead agency. And since this is following all of the uh, state statutes for property interests, uh, the municipality of record in here is Middleton as far as I'm aware. Okay. I can move we adjourn since there's nothing else on the agenda unless somebody else has got something. We have a motion to adjourn. Is there a second? I'll second. A motion and a second. Is there a discussion? Hearing none, those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, nay. The ayes have it and we stand adjourned. Thank Great. you everyone. Okay. Yeah, in a couple I, of weeks. Yeah, thanks all for coming. I, I was saying I would have canceled it, but we needed to get this moving. So I appreciate that everyone dropped what they were doing for a very short meeting. Um, cool. If you can make them all this short, if you can make them all this short, we'd <laughs> be really happy. You can make them all this short if you had one every night. <laughs> well, that's a good point. <laughs> okay, well, thank you all. Talk to you soon. All thanks, right. everyone. I have a question for you. Yeah, yeah. thanks, everyone. Oh, to whom? For Sean. Uh, oh, for Sean. Okay. Oh, I can hang out. I'll uh, I'm gonna stop leave. the recording part.